Hey, yo, 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 what up? Uh, right here with Blue Diamond, J5, and DJ Scenario. Here we go. Oh. Welcome to the Party Starter Podcast. It's your host, DJ Scenario. I go by the name of DJ J5. And we got a special guest today in man. the building with us. What's the deal for real, Let's man? go. All the way from? From L.A., man. L.A. From the city, West Side. You know what I'm saying? So reading your name, we got to make sure that people get the pronunciation yeah, right. Yeah, Kalen for real, for real. Kalen, because we, Kalen, for real, for real. Little bit, we I know, like, I, I, I was Kalan, waiting for you to say Kalan. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It ain't no pressure. It ain't no pressure. So how long you been out here? Man, I've been in New York for a day. Is what are we what are we doing in New York? Oh, we here man. in LA. What are we doing in New York? So let's Shit. tell the people what we doing in New York. Well, we got off the Puma Jet. Uh, the Puma Jet. Yeah. Oh, is that nice. real talk or yeah. we capping? Nah, I got off the Puma Jet. Okay. And That's Jay Z's. Uh, basically, like his yeah, company. Yeah. Right? Rock Nation. Rock oh, Nation. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 I get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Puma stores and all that. Oh, that's dope. So yeah, we got off the four 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 Jet, and um, from there I did a today we did a shoot at um, I did a shoot for planes today. Okay. For their new stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, so model, yeah, rapper, my, singer, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Go to the office, went to the office, we did some meetings. I did a gang of interviews and it just was working. I've been working yeah. every all day, like every hour on hour. Y'all got crazy traffic. Oh that's yeah, no, that's what got me caught up. I was like, wow, crazy what is going traffic. Speaking of traffic, we 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 usually have our co-host Blue Diamond. DJ yeah, Blue yeah. Diamond, but she <laughs> she's stuck in the traffic. It's so all good. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 like yeah. literally, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand. So you you sure. born and raised in L. A. Right? Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about the traffic versus New York? Because we got traffic, own traffic. Yeah, we got, got our a own different traffic. type of traffic. Yeah, it's totally different. Y'all traffic is like. All day, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like I know I got my little times, yeah, but y'all traffic is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are gonna need no. a Puma helicopter or something. It ain't <laughs> even nah, for sure. We gotta see about that. It ain't even uh, the traffic that's crazy. Motherfuckers in New York, y'all crazy. Oh man. yeah, y'all nah, drive yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. crazy yeah. Niggas, yeah. y'all be scared to be in the car. Like y'all drive yeah. crazy, especially man. the Ubers and the yellow cabs. They oh, yeah. are racing. They don't give a yeah. fuck. They don't, they don't give a fuck about nothing. They they stop right nigga, there. they cussing out the police. Yeah, yeah. The police oh, yeah, behind yeah. us yeah. flashing a horn. He like nigga laying out the window. Nigga, what you want me to do? Yeah. What you want me to do? Saying, Where you want me to go? Yeah, you in traffic long enough? Calm down. You in traffic long enough? You gonna see yellow cabs fighting each other, getting out the car? That shit crazy. It's real. Got serious. Yeah, everybody's going through A nigga shit, turned man. our mirror the, the other day. <laughs> it was crazy. I said, oh, it was disrespectful yeah, out here, yeah, man. No, it's definitely crazy. Man, even walking is dangerous out here. They oh, don't yeah, give don't a fuck. They'll run around. right into no, you. Yeah. Niggas don't say excuse me. I'll be saying excuse me oh, for like yeah, a bitch, no, man. No, no, I'll yeah. be like, but Yo, people, excuse you know, it's crazy in New York. People in New York walking, crossing the street, act like yeah. they own the street. Oh, man. yeah. Oh. I've been, you know, that person to act like I own the street. It's a New York thing. It's a New York thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York is a weird place. Like when you are nice and you ask people, People like how they doing? They look yeah. at you like they look at you like what the fuck is wrong with you? Why? 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 Every couple months, yeah. I come okay, down here. So I've been, I've like been starting time. to come more though. Yeah, yeah. no, it ain't, my, it ain't my first time in New York. Do you mm -hmm. party no, out here? Uh, I partied out here a couple times, like yeah. twice. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Can we talk about your most exciting, craziest party you ever been a part of in New York? Just in general. Oh man, I used to throw parties. Really? Oh man, yeah. house parties like, when I was like, young. Yeah, like, like when I was young, I used to throw house parties. Like mm -hmm. we used to throw like venue parties and shit like yeah. that. Like we had a group. We used to throw parties back in the day. So like in high school, like we used to have like thousands of kids coming to our parties and shit. Uh -huh. That's how I used to make money. Like yeah. how I used to, that's how I used to get my music off. Nice. You see that? Well, what's yeah. your crazy ex experience throwing a party? Crazy is like because you know this is the party sort of podcast. And, we ask you know, every all artist. of us are DJs, and this is a specific <laughs> question we ask to our guests. Every mm. guest has told us a crazy experience they've ever had or or one of the craziest moments they've seen or been a part of, anything like that. So I had Airbnb one time. <laughs> mm. You know there's going to be a good yeah, one yeah, to start yeah, with Airbnb, yeah, you know, right? Airbnb. So I had an Airbnb <laughs> one time, man. Um, it was, everybody was faded. I shot a video in the Airbnb and it was going up. It was like right during COVID, during yeah, the yeah. pandemic. You know what I'm saying? 
I got oh, COVID. Wasn't even supposed to be out, I got though. COVID after this. This oh. is where I got COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't think COVID was real until after <laughs> yeah. this day. Did you, know you get saying? sick COVID or did you get COVID no, I got like, sick, like oh, oh you got sick? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, it was like, bad. Like, like I'm on the toilet yeah. all five minutes. Like I'm <laughs> yeah. in the bathroom more than I'm out the bathroom. It, it hey, it's sore. I'm losing weight. My ass hurt. Nigga, I've been on the toilet all day. It's bad. Nigga, I had real COVID. Man, fuck around. We. Fucking man, one of the bitches get drunk, fall through the wall, man. We put a hole fall in the through wall like in a, 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 a what kind of wall? Like a like drywall? Yeah, man. Oh my god. Damn. So I patched that on, bitch like, up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I patched it up myself. I found Passed some paint, paint in the garage. They had the yeah. paint in the garage. Then I got gum and paper and all yeah, kind of yeah, shit, yeah. and I was taping it on the wall. And <laughs> oh, I painted man. over it, and then I sat the I sat the shit yeah, down, yeah, yeah. and we was blow we was drying it with a blow dryer. So he can make sure mm -hmm. that shit dry fast, and he never knew. To this day, they still don't know. Wow, man! Fuck that Airbnb <laughs> all the way up. I think a lot of your fans might not know you're a damn carpenter too, man. Yeah, like man. sometimes you gotta get it done, <laughs> man. You gotta put that shit in work. I wasn't finna get charged for that Airbnb. Nah, yeah, they nah, were gonna charge you. Nah. A whole, you would have owned the apartment after that. Listen, no, nah, this was a big ass house. Yeah. That nigga, oh, she man. fell through the wall, and I'm like, bro, we gotta hurry up and do this for a checkout. It's seven in the morning, and yeah. we over here patching the wall up. <laughs> Oh, Real deal goodness. In there painting the wall nah, that, that might the, be one of the best ones Then it looked crazy Cause the, <laughs> the yeah, paint thanks. different Literally when the dude came We sitting in front of the wall Like this <laughs> Make sure he yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we patched the wall. Right, like, you know, this this talking, area is good. We yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. While I'm talking to him the whole time, he's like, man, how was the video? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Great. It was great. <laughs> it's great. Thank you they for the camera. He's like, like, man, what the? They ain't never hit us back, gang. I didn't change yeah, my yeah. number since then, so shit. If you, you know, see me on the street, we ain't paying for the wall, bro. I fixed it. Yeah, we don't know you. We didn't <laughs> fixed even, we didn't it. I don't even remember it, where it's at. <laughs> Can we talk about music? For sure. How long have you been doing music? Um, seriously, or just like, period. no, it has, no. Like, what, what sparked your yeah. whole music career? Like, yo, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be an artist. What was it? I've always been in the music. Yeah. I've always been in the music, but it was like after I was done football, I ain't really had nothing else to do. So I'm like, man, you know, I've been liking music for all this time. I've been loving music. It's time to take it serious. Mm -hmm. And that was like 2000, like 17, 18. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then, so, so football was your passion? Yeah, they was both like. Had my passion, but I never really got a chance to experience music because I was playing football. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't be full fledged in the music because I was playing football. Like I played. Did you D1. write? Learn, did you? Oh, really? Yeah, I played. D1. I played for San Diego State. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Oh, nice. It, um, so like I didn't have no life. Like I had a football yeah. life. Like oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I couldn't really go do all the all the music shit, but I was trying. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd be like I had practice. I remember one day like we was like in the middle of camp, and we had two a days. Um, Uzi had like a show at six o'clock. Shit, I opened up for Uzi at like 540, nigga, and went back to practice and went right to practice, like in between. Like, your teammates know, like, yo, yeah, my teammates know, my coaches know too. They used to yeah, be yeah. talking shit, like, if I fuck up at practice, they'd be like, because you was in there working on your fucking mixtape, that's why you fucked yeah, up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they say shit so like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what you was, was up the... rapping all night? That's why you missed practice, huh? That's yeah. why you was late to, that's why you was late to waste, because you was rapping, you was in the studio. But what then was they the played breaking my shit point in the room. <laughs> what was like the decision? What was the breaking point, point for you? Like, I ended up going like, to jail. Oh, yeah, shit. I ended up going to jail. So like going into the next season, I knew I wasn't gonna be. I, I was getting kicked out of school, so I wasn't gonna be able to finish my last was season. Was it something that happened in school? Or? Nah, hell no, nah, no. Nah. I just got in trouble outside of school, yeah. fucking around in the streets. I ended up getting in trouble. I had to go to jail. It happens, so man. the next year, I had I was a felon. If you're a felon, you can't, you can't get no scholarship. Play, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't get no scholarship. So they took my scholarship away. But I graduated though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I finished school At because least, uh, yeah. yeah, I took like. 20 some units like a whole more units mm -hmm. than i was supposed to take you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so it was dope shout out to you know uh megan and miss kelly man you know they what i'm saying shout down. out to miss megan and miss kelly they helped me down it was my my um my tutor and my fine and my, my tutor and my um academic advisor okay nice. you know what i'm saying they um two very important women in my life that mm -hmm. that made me realize that i had to grow up yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And push me through it to make me accomplish something. Like I had spent all that time there. If I wouldn't have graduated, I would have been a waste. Did you think did you think <clears throat> you getting locked up had a role in you really changing yeah. the demographic? Like your 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 route and let, let me you know. Nah, um besides getting kicked out, because I'm sure you know, you had a felony you got kicked yeah, out. It was you, just you, I had to do something. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then everything that I had to do, like I always had the right idea, like yeah. the shit that I was gonna do, but it's just like bro with the where we from, you, you only know a couple things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You either play sports or you get out the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was trying to do both. 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sports don't pay for real. That's that's new. Niggas mm-hmm. getting paid for sports is new. It, it, you it, know it, what it. I mean? That's shit brand new. Mm-hmm. But like, sports low key enable you as a as a as a man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, you get catered to. You know what I'm saying? When you an athlete, mm-hmm. you don't gotta do nothing. They yeah. gonna they gonna pay for you to live. They gonna pay for you to eat. You know what I'm saying? They gonna yeah. you gonna have your bare minimums. So just your survival skills is. Taken away. All you gotta mm-hmm. do is play football, and you've been playing football your whole life. That don't make you a man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's not no for certain that you going to the league. So mm-hmm. what you gonna do after that? And percentage, luckily, what was like the percentage of people coming from where where you from going to the league? All right, let me tell you this. I got a lot of homies in the league, mm-hmm. but <clears throat> on my pop on the team, my coach told us. Um, I was 11 years old. He said, he said probably about. 10, 10 to 15 of y'all gonna play in high school You know what I'm saying Maybe like 5 of y'all might play in college And might not None of y'all go to the league hmm. Oh wow So y'all better get y'all grades together. So that's kinda like hitting the lotto You know what I'm making saying Making it to the yeah, league yeah, he, said, yeah, he said like might not None of y'all go to the league So y'all better make sure Y'all doing good in school He said that mm-hmm. on a grade check day Oof. My grades was fucked up So I was yeah. I was listening Like you know so what I'm saying paying attention Yeah to I'm like Sheesh. Damn I'm like That is like a good Like yeah. Statistic I'm like you know what I'm saying I said 11 So when I got older And I got to college And I started realizing Like you know what I'm saying Like I ain't gonna f- cap Like a nigga was like The best nigga ever Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I wasn't mm-hmm. the best nigga ever But I was good I was yeah. good enough to go to the league I feel like You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying I don't feel like I would've got drafted In no first round Or nothing like that But if I would've got well, An I opportunity made. I would've stayed on the team Yeah, yeah You yeah. know what I'm saying So I feel like that Uh With that Like with them statistics Out of my whole team I'm the only one That played D1 football Oh, wow. And I wasn't the best nigga on my team as a kid. Like, I ain't never been, like, a star. Yeah, Like, yeah. I ain't never been a star. I just work hard, bro, and I know mm-hmm. what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I, out of all the niggas on my team that I played with, I'm the, literally, I'm the only one that played Division One football. Yeah. And nobody would have thought it would have been me. Mm-hmm. Nobody would have ever thought it would have been me. Because there was... Niggas hated on me. I lost friends yeah. to this day because I, I did that and they couldn't do that. Like, niggas that was my friends since I was five, six years old. Well, Stop fucking just with just because you made it. So they're like, like, yeah, niggas start acting pregnant. different, treating a nigga different. Like, that usually happens. Yeah, you know that what I'm saying? I'm sure that's happening now yeah. with music. Now it's easy. Your... Now it's easy. It's easy now because yeah. I didn't already went through that and was confused about it. Like, mm-hmm. damn, like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, nigga cried over shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah no, like, that's it's not my shit. fault. Like, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to be proud of me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I lost friends over that shit, but now when it happened in music, I just be like, all right, nigga, come fuck it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, get, <laughs> on. get on, nigga. So shit ain't gonna stop. Like, did you think you would you would reach these kind of levels of success in the music game? Um, in a sense, I could say you still before. Yeah, before I'm still you growing because you mm-hmm. still growing. Yeah, I'm still mm-hmm. growing you know definitely. Saying? But at this point, right now, yeah, as we sit here, mm-hmm. I would say yeah and no, because like I'm one of them people. Like I feel like if you think it, you can do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Cause like, like I was saying, like I was saying, didn't nobody think that I was gonna go to college and play football? I didn't think that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it happened, yeah. and I did it. You know what I mean? So it was just like, all right, with the music shit, I'm like, I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna see what type of success I'm getting. Every day, it's like new. I don't think that, like, just because you want to do it, I feel like I feel two ways about it. If I can explain it, mm-hmm. if I want to do something, I feel like I can do something if I try. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But. Just because I want to do it, there's not guaranteed that I'm going to get out what I yeah. want from it. You yeah. know what I'm I saying? I always say I'd rather try and fail than never try at all. There's no such you thing as failing if you try. Exactly. Yeah. There's no it's such thing as failing if you try. It's not a loss, it's a lesson. Because you're going to get somewhere. You're going to you know get something saying? out of If you wasn't doing nothing before and you start doing something, then you you started something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. No matter if you like, like y'all on the radio and y'all started, nigga, it don't matter if you had one follower, nigga. When mm-hmm. you started, you got 10 now, nigga, you changed. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got 10 people now. Yeah, yeah. And if it's going to go from 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, it don't matter. As long as you're growing, it don't matter how long it takes you to grow. That's on you and what you okay with. But as long as you growing, yeah, then you're doing something. So how do you feel about your understanding as being... Are you a signed artist right now? Yeah, I'm signed to... Uh, to Rock Nation. I'm signed to Rock Nation. I'm signed to First Class 2. First Class yeah. 2. First how class do you entertainment. feel? First Class Entertainment. That's my brother label. Because okay. we was brother, talking yeah. to Bobby Shmurda last time. And he was he was breaking down the whole music game oh. and everything. And, mm-hmm. and, in his and, opinion, and, and, in his perspective of his, you know, yeah. music and, and being independent and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I you feel know? like it, it worked for who it worked for. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like some people get in uh, situations where they don't necessarily need a label mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. necessarily could have more leverage to do it on their own way. And then some people's situation, like... A label might be perfect for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. don't let these niggas fool you, bro. These niggas getting money from somewhere. This shit mm-hmm. ain't coming out oh, the yeah. woodworks. Because yeah. at the yeah, end of the day, sometimes, like, nigga, you could be independent and be going up 
and not make no money. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you don't know how to get your money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't know what to do. You might need an office. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might need an office to get to the next level. You need an office to do the next things. And these are people that experienced that worked to get here to do the yeah. jobs that they do. Specifically, mm-hmm. specifically, job. look, I specifically do finances for labels mm-hmm. so I can get you your mu- money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I specifically do radio so I can make sure you get in your radio show. Right, I specifically so, yeah. do this. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do none of that shit and you just trying to do that shit yourself, you don't know. Like that's yeah. dumb. I think there's a lot of artists that reach certain levels of success, and then yeah. when they got money now, they mm-hmm. feel different now. You know, like nah. oh, I didn't have to do that, but they're not looking at that was part of your journey. That was part of your journey. If I've that label experience. didn't pick you up yeah. and promote you the yeah, way they yeah. did, you wouldn't be touching that money. Maybe you would. Not saying they wouldn't. Yeah, but uh, but man. They, I feel like labels get shitted on. Yeah. When in reality, if it wasn't for a lot of these artists, if the, label with the being label being attached them. to them, if you they wouldn't have been in the same spotlight. You know I feel like so, I feel like if you happy with where you at, then it's not no I shoulda. Mm-hmm. 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 It's never I shoulda. If you happy with where you at, it's never I shoulda. Cause yeah. man, a lot of niggas don't be ready. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, niggas be asking for a plate and can't eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Asking for more what they can eat and and you got to be ready for this shit when it come yeah. beforehand. You know what I mean? And it's not no, it's not no promise, and it's not no knowing that you're gonna do everything right. So why not get help if you can get help? Mm-hmm. But if you like got a situation, if you got a formula and it's working for you, you just gotta do what's best for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What's gonna when work you, for you in you the say, long run? When you say ready, right? Mm-hmm. And this is good. I'm, we getting disrespected from you because you are signed to Rock Nable yeah. in the first class, mm-hmm. right? Uh-huh. Um, because we we got the other, we got the independent side, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? And we're hearing what you're uh-huh. saying from. But rock, you know, but the, first class and independent label, we cracked off off the ground from nothing. And My brother label yeah, started yeah. from nothing, and then we turned it into this, and we got with rock. Yeah, yeah. And now is you know what I'm saying is everything is growing. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We started independent, not like doing everything ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing all that ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We got jugged, all kind of shit, shit happening, everything. Every story got is a story. Mm-hmm. You know, I what think I mean? football plays a big role in you being seasoned to yeah. handle. Yeah, tough no, shit, definitely, you know? definitely, so definitely. Because it's, 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 you it's the adversity that. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. to grow. In football, you got to grow up fast. It's like, oh yeah, you, you don't have no control over your life. The moment that you figure out that you don't have no control is when you have the most control. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's, you know a fact. That's a good, yeah. That's a good uh, bar honestly, right there. Like real <laughs> shit. It's when you had the most control because everything is um you might think you understand everything is reaction based. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like, what happens to you, it's how you react to it. It's how you react to what happens. Because yeah. you can't control what happens. Yeah. It's how absolutely. you move past it. You know what I'm saying? Like then your cut your kid come in here and with, with his eye busted open, you know what I'm saying? You're not finna be sitting up here like, oh man, I'm a bad parent. You finna figure out how to get your kid eye from bleeding. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, yeah. So get it done. And it's not your fault that your kid got into something. You probably took all the proper precautions, but now that you know that this is a thing, you're gonna make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, it's you just know basically what I'm so life. It's just like life. Shit yeah, happens. Just yeah. life. Like, now what you gonna do? Bro, if you, you know and I, and I, just, like, I just take music on his life. All right, a lot mm-hmm. of people listening to my music. Okay, for sure, I gotta do it again. What yeah. was the all right? So mm-hmm. you've been doing Facts. you've been doing the music and, and you just said that right. A lot of people listening to my music. Yeah. What was the the point where you was like, oh shit, people are really listening to my music. Like I, it's I'm, every day I'm still going. Right. it's still today. Still I'll yeah, be yeah. I'll be waking up like what the fuck. <laughs> you look like, at it like wow, this shit is like, happening. <laughs> like bro, my, my my manager and everybody been like telling me the numbers for my new project and I'm like. Yeah, that's that's good, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they like, good they like, nigga, that's, they like, no, that's great for you, nigga. Yeah, you doing yeah, yeah. good, you doing good, bro. Like, nigga, be excited, be happy, mm-hmm. you doing good. I'd be like, all right. All Do right. you celebrate the the small successes from like? I'm starting that, to the because I think to. It, I think it's very important to yeah. do that. For I'm me. starting to, I'm starting mm-hmm. to now because you know? mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't uh, for a long time. Yeah. I wasn't proud of myself for a long time because it's like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not. I want to. I want to be the biggest, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying. I want to be the biggest, not the best, but the biggest. The biggest. Okay. You know what I'm saying. The best don't. The best. Nobody. I. I don't feel like can't nobody like really say who the best is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying because everybody's story different. Everybody preach different. Everybody do different things. You know what I mean. Yeah. But the biggest I want to be the biggest. You know what I mean? Because why not? If it's opportunity to be, why, 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 why not? Why wouldn't you want to go to the highest level? So. Mm-hmm. I used to be scared to be proud of myself. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I used to be scared. I didn't want to soak in the moment and get cocky because I watch a lot of niggas get cocky and, and fall be, off. And, and fall off. And niggas, off. niggas be gone. Like, yeah. nigga, you should have never got cocky. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm more appreciative than anything. I don't feel like the world, the world don't owe you shit. The world don't give a fuck about us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a fact. And I just appreciate, I appreciate everything because like, just like y'all interviewing me, y'all finna interview another nigga. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all gonna interview another nigga. And y'all gonna interview another nigga and another nigga and another nigga and the show not gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And down the line, if I don't keep putting myself in the position for y'all to want to interview me, then I'm not gonna get interviewed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't owe me nothing just because I'm signed to Rock Nation. Nigga could have said that. I'm so? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to talk to that nigga. It don't so, matter. You know what I'm saying? Well, everybody got a choice. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, I appreciate y'all <laughs> having me, though. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, you know, this is very yeah. educational for people, too, that's trying yeah. to come up in the game. Other already, artists. Already. Yeah. And, uh, you dropped the project. Mm-hmm. For the people, let them people know. 222 two, two, is out right now, man. Why 222? 222 two, two, two is the trilogy. Two yeah. for real one, two for real two is two for real three, so two okay. two two. But also, it's my angel number. I feel like that's what, that's I, was what I was gonna say. Yeah. I was gonna four, say four, 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 my that's number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always seeing that that's shit. My like shit. Some, I got that shit. Tatted I gotta on my watch leg. out for some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got that shit. I always look at that. Like everything is <laughs> signs, bro. Yeah, yeah, everything is signs. And the sign for two 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 is that you going in the right direction. Fire. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like just where we going. Like how you was talking about. Like you know what I'm saying? I still got room to grow. Yeah. Like, everything we doing is going the right way. Like, the sound of the music, the context of the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything all, everything we got going on is going in the right direction for me to grow. And I'm growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, just keep going, bro. Just keep going until it's you can't go no more. Like, why not? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So we got like a, a album... Or EP in the works? EP, EP, just, EP, just, dropped. EP, EP just, just dropped. EP just dropped. EP just dropped 222 two, 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 last, two. last week. And you have any features on it? Just Blast. Just yeah. Blast. Oh, Shout yeah. out Blast. You got a good yeah. record that's yeah. moving out here. It's my boy, that's man. Shout out Blast. We from Cali mm-hmm. too, right? Yeah, yeah. Blast, we from yeah. the same city. Oh, oh yeah? shit. Yeah, so yeah, how, how did yeah. y'all link up on that one? We always knew each other. Like, yeah. he produced uh, Right With It for me and all kind okay. of shit. Like, Blast my dog. I've been around since I was in high school. So how would... She, you say you had a lot of haters, right? How did you feel when, when his success came? Like, oh, shit, that's my dog. Like... You know? uh, I was happy for him. I'm happy for everybody, bro, because that shit don't got like niggas be hating. Hating is insecurity on yourself. Yeah, man. you know yeah. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not insecure at all, nigga. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I ain't never really had no problem mm-hmm. with nothing in life. Like, nigga, always didn't have bitches. Nigga, always was able yeah. to go get some money. Like, mm-hmm. I can't hate on a nigga, bro, because. Just because another nigga got it don't mean you can't get it. There's yeah, room yeah. for everybody yeah. to eat it on. Takes too much shit. energy you know to hate on somebody. You gotta try yeah. to hate on a nigga. And his, yeah. I think we, if we could talk about his his song real quick, Chosen. Mm-hmm. I made a pandemic mix. Yeah. And that song was in my pandemic mix. That's hard. And then I want to say mm-hmm. last end of last year, finally made it like to radio on yeah. the rotation. Mm-hmm. So. Music takes time to grow, Absolutely. and people don't understand. Like I want, I want you to answer this if you could for the for for the fans and the people watching that don't understand this. Mm-hmm. Like how mm-hmm. how long you think it is good enough time to be pushing a record, or or Forever. how often do you push a rec- new records and stuff like that? On time? You just keep going. Yeah, mm-hmm. my thing is you just keep going because at the end of the day, like if it's a record, it's gonna show. Mm-hmm. If it's gonna show, if it's supposed to happen, I, I'm a big believer in faith. Like what's supposed to happen is gonna happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like this shit already written. You know what I mean? And whatever gonna come of it is gonna come from it. But it's I feel like you just have to be ready. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where the big deal is. So like, you know what I mean? I got three tapes. I got three big tapes out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that's been going crazy. For two years, I toured on the same music. Okay. Signed with Rock Nation. Then I dropped another project in 2021. Okay. Now I'm dropping again in 2022. I ain't the first the last time I dropped music was 2018. Mm-hmm. Really, you know what I'm saying? So it's like was touring for so long. You know what I'm saying? Off that, off that first one, yeah. off oh. that first yeah. one. Then I didn't go on my own tour until mm-hmm. after I did the, the one in 2021. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? I did that. Then I went on my own tour. I toured the East and the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Midwest, all of that. Now we dropping this one. It's like you know what I'm saying? It's only blossoming more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my back. Run the question by me. I'm high. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so other than the rabbit. music, other than the music, let's let, let, let's try to help other like fans or new fans. I was about to come yeah. in understand who but you no, are more. I was going. Yeah. I had a. Oh, answer. you had something. Okay, I got an answer. Back here, I just back. forgot the question. Mm-hmm. What was the question? One more time. Oh, how do how do you feel about the music growing and taking long? Should you keep dropping oh, yeah. music or, or keep pushing? I feel, you, the I feel like you keep going. Okay, you keep going because okay. it's not no telling, bro. There's so many songs that come from ten years ago. That blow up five yeah. years ago, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like banking on me. Mm-hmm. It's resurfacing. Yeah. All over again. It already was a hit. Mm-hmm. It been mm-hmm. hit already. I think people you know start saying? searching for you after like As you, you grow up too. Like, yeah. oh my God, yeah. I didn't even believe yeah. he had all this it, hot shit. It could be anything. One of these days, cause people yeah. still like, I'm in a great space. Nigga, niggas still finding out about me every day talking about my old shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm only getting better. 
Mm-hmm. So niggas talking about, yeah, bro, I just heard Nova never lose you for the first time. That shit's a banger. All right, nigga, yeah. keep playing it. If that's what you <laughs> like, keep playing it. Cause now if that blow up, yeah, you just gonna go with that. Mm-hmm. It's already there. Thing you know saying, and I, I'm ready. I already yeah, know what yeah. to do because I've been practicing all of this time, still doing the same that's thing. What you just gotta be ready. Like you gotta be ready for the you game, bro. Ready. You never know when they gonna call you in, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like in college, bro. Like back to football, mm-hmm. preparing me for this shit. In college, I know a million niggas, bro. Million niggas don't play a lick. Ain't played in a game three years, nigga. It might be your fourth year, your senior year. Coach call you, nigga, in the middle of the season. Nigga get hurt. Uh, you up? Yeah. It's your turn mm-hmm. to go mm-hmm. be ready. To go be ready, like nigga. That. You up? Yeah, you so that one now call. the nigga go to the league. Nigga, you only play four games. You going to the league because you had a great four games because you was ready. Because mm-hmm. you ain't yeah. take no days off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, nigga, just be ready. Just be ready for this shit if it's gonna happen. It's not no for sure that it's gonna happen, but if you ready when it happened, then it's gonna play out. So other than a, an artist, is mm-hmm. there any other goals you looking to do in your life? Like other things that you wanted to do? Everything, man. Everything. I'm getting into everything. There ain't no reason why not, bro. Hell yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to get A little bit of acting, a little bit of everything. Acting, everything, bro. That's Whatever right. it is, if a nigga can make some money off of it, I'm going to touch I'm a hustler, bro. I'll be up. I'll get up We're at ready. 7 Talk o'clock up. in the morning. Every day, still. Okay, so we always do like, I'm J5. They call me top five in New York yeah. City as far as okay, club DJs sure. or whatever. Yep. So I always ask, it, like, what are your top five artists? Top five artists. Your top five artists could be old, new, don't even matter. Um, I'm gonna fuck with Jay. Alive. I'm gonna throw Jay in there. Got to be Wayne. number one. <laughs> Wayne for show. Yay. Oh yay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like Oh yeah too. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. College dropout. Still yeah. respect right, New Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Was way Shout out yeah, man. <laughs> oh oh yeah. Okay. Um, It's always the last two that people. Always like, the last on, two. You on, really gotta like. Shit. I'm gonna throw Brent in there, bro. Brent Hart. Okay, okay. I've been off Brent for like five, six years yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout to Brent, man. Yeah, yeah. Brent yeah. Fires Hart, man. Mm-hmm. And um, probably my favorite. One of my favorite. I fuck with Trick Daddy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Trick right. Daddy. Niggas let me yeah, expect yeah, a nigga yeah, to say yeah, that, bro. I fuck we with Trick Daddy, bro. Yeah, we haven't. I fuck with. I kind of grew up off Trick Daddy on the low, nigga. I kind of grew up off Trick Daddy, bro. That I don't know yeah, yeah. what yeah. this yeah. world. Yeah. 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 That's my Maybe shit, man. Yeah, he had a unique sound. He really did have like he was popping it. You know what I'm saying? But I love music, bro. I like all kind of music. You know what I'm saying? My shit differentiate every day. Cause I might be listening to something different tomorrow and be stuck on that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Is there so, another genre of music that interests you that you want to jump into? Um, I like all music, bro. Mm-hmm. Real shit. So it's just it'll just be like how I can make it sound authentic, like yeah. me still. I don't want to go like, and trying to sound like thing nobody like else. Yeah, waving yeah, right no, now. That's dope. I feel, I, that's just great music. Well, it just has to fit. I mean, it got to fit. fit. It, it got to feel sense. like me. You know it, what I'm saying? You can't force it. Cause mm-hmm. then people see through that. Not, yeah, not, you can see right see through that, that yeah, shit. Yeah, the vibe, you that's why I, feel the energy on mm-hmm. some, a lot my, of things. <laughs> Everything. That's why my last name for real, for real. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. why the end of the shit is like, nigga, be real, be we yourself. Like, before we before we wrap this up, right? Yeah. The F R F R. We was like, what could be like? What is it for real? For real? Yeah, it's it? for real. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Why like, for real? For real. Before we before we. Because Kaylin, my real name. Yeah. Like Kaylin, for real. For real. Like okay. I'm really like so everything you finna get is authentic. Like you know what I mean. Everything you finna get is real. Like everything I talk about, I'm going through. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the music is real. Everything you see on me is real. I'm not gonna be out here faking shit, like okay. acting like I'm doing shit. Mm-hmm. Fake clothes, fake jewelry, all that's bullshit. What you see, yeah. That yeah. shit, God, man. What you real. see is what For you real. get. Yeah. Is real, God, all right. absolutely. All right, tell the people your project that's out right now. Yes, sir. Go get that two 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 out right now, man. Everywhere, all streaming platforms, man. All right. Y'all follow me everywhere at k a l a n dot f r f r man on all social media, all platforms. Y'all follow me everywhere, Kayla. For real, for real. single. Single right now, pull up, light breeze. They all singles, man. All Go right, play cool. all that shit. The whole two, two, two. <laughs> nah, real shit. deal. We, Put we it on from in. the top. Yeah, and then finish it through and hit me back. Let me know what you think. When about you come it. back in town, we need you. We need to come back and come rock with us. Absolutely. When you come back in town, you need to yeah. come party with us. Too. Nah, for sure. You gotta <laughs> let me know, <laughs> man. How to party? You gotta so let me know. Do, like, we, I ain't we all really... over the city, so we all do different parties. All okay, so bet. the events be crazy. Bet. So the we last just thing need to I went to, I went to Davies listening party. Yeah. It was a vibe. You had a good time. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy, man. Hell yeah. I was on that nigga last project. That's my boy, hard. All right, dope. Hell yeah. Yo, thank you for coming by. Appreciate, Appreciate y'all having me. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Yep. Thank God bless. You. We out. Part of the podcast. Uh-